You got four years to get four properties. Using the VA loan, here's how you're going to do it. Before I go through this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you also check out the episodes with Jimmy Versalino and or Eric Browning. These are two, uh, two episodes that I did of the uh, Real Estate from the Foxhole where we interviewed a couple guys who specialize in the VA loan. There's more to come. First things first, a few ground rules. This is based off a scenario that you are one, living in a property for one year a piece. Every time you live in it one year, you cannot sell it if you live in it for one year because you're gonna get hit with what's called capital gains tax. If you live in there for two years, after, uh, if you live in there for two years out of the last five years, you can sell the property without getting hit by capital gains tax. In this scenario, capital gains tax is not a part of it because you're staying in it for a year, getting another one, staying in another one, and staying in another one. There is no sell for at least five or six years. So on two of these properties at minimum, you're probably gonna end up paying capital gains tax in the first place. So in this scenario, capital gains tax is not a thing. So here's how it works. You are going to use your VA loan to buy a property, right? You're in the military, you're gonna use your VA loan to buy a property. First property you're gonna look at is a single family house or duplex. I recommend a duplex, duplex, quadplex, triplex, and my recommendations. So let's just say for this example, you're in a duplex instead of a single family. So you're in a duplex. Your duplex is going to cost you, let's say $500,000, 500K. Now, the VA loan does not have any limits, but counties do have limits on how big, how much you can use for one said VA loan. So. In this case, 500K, let's just say the loan number, and you'll have to do some research, and I'll, I'll, share, a, uh, I'll share, if I can, the, uh, the county breakdown of what those limits look like. But you'll say, let's say it's 900K is the number, right? You got $900,000 to use. First property is 500K. You go and buy another property, another property for $400,000. Now you've used all your VA loan up. You lived in this one for a year, you moved out, you went and bought another one for 400K, you're about to move out of that one. Before you do though, sir, though, what you do is you do sing both these back into commercial loans. The reason is you want to replenish your VA loan. How do you look at doing that? So with the VA loan, at first, you can replenish your VA loan with a one-time restoration, I believe it's called. It's a one-time restoration. You got one time to restore everything back to what it is without having to pay, or not pay, but sell the rest of your properties. So here's how that works. You do the one-time restoration. Now, because both of these loans are back to, they're both in commercial loans, now you have your 900K back, $900,000, right? Now, you got your 900K back, you're gonna repeat the same process. Buying two duplexes. Duplex, bow, duplex. Now you're gonna take these duplexes, let's say one's 400K, this one's 500K. Now, you cannot use that one-time restoration again. That's it for the one-time restoration. This is where I personally messed up. I went and bought two properties, I did the one-time restoration, but we sold these properties. We sold them, which means we didn't really have to do the one-time restoration, but I did not know that, right? So did the one-time restoration, I took the L, now I'm probably gonna fall short on some properties and I'll only be able to get to one said number because of not having that rest ability to do the restoration again. But now in the back end of this, let's assume you live in all these properties. For, it's, been, uh, it's been a total of six years, let's say, right? You are in the property down here. You're in this property right now at that point. You've been in six years. One, two, three, four properties within a four year period. You live in this one six, so there's an extra two. The problem with that is because now, if you sell these properties, you're gonna hit with capital gains tax. Thing is, you're probably not gonna hold on to them anyway 
because now you're at the point where you've got a spouse, you've got kids, and let's say y'all say, hey, we wanna get our dream home. Now you can sell these properties, right, to get your VA loan back. Not these, these two can get it back, these two are on commercial, so it won't matter for them anyway. But you can use the money, the funding from the, the money gained on these, and these two, to go about, <clears throat> to go about, getting a new, uh, new family, uh, new uh, family home. But you'd wanna stay outside, you still wanna stay here longer than uh, a year. Because again, capital gains tax. So just for argument's sake, you've been in these places, you've had them for all for 10 years, you've been banking money. Here's what I recommend doing and you might be able to avoid capital gains tax with it. Uh, you'll have to talk to your, your, your tax advisor and get advice on how this will work. But this is what I see. You can still take a home equity line of credit out on these properties and put that towards your dream home. So now you're right back in the mix. You've got all your properties still, you got four properties at this point, and you're using that one, these all four of these, to create your HELOC. HELOC. Right? And now you can go ahead and buy your dream home. You can use that money towards your dream home, at least at minimum down, towards a down payment, because I know you're expensive. You buying one that's got like a slide going down, a pool, a man cave, a, a she shack, whatever you want to call it. So you putting in a lot of work on this thing, but you can put in your down payment using that HELOC. I hope this is helpful. Make sure you talk to your tax advisors. I also recommend talking to somebody like Jimmy Versalino, or Eric Browning, they'll be able to help as well. Ain't nothing to it though. This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know. Keep it a true to form to the L's into a milli though. But they already knew that those for well to your opinions know that he is so. This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know. Yeah, keep it a true to form, but they already knew that your opinion.